It's a fact of life and death. Hospice, staff and volunteers caring for the dying and giving support to their families. We have as many as 400 patients and families registered with us at one time. We have 17 beds on our unit. Which means much of the care is done in patients' homes. That's medical support, nursing, spiritual care, psychological support, tangible support. But what about those who have no home? You know, we do memorial service almost every week, so there's people that pass away on a regular basis from this community, and, and it's hard for people to, all of a sudden, they're, they're with somebody one day, and the next week they're gone. Victoria's street community experiences death more often than most of us could endure. Huge, huge grief and loss. They've lost often families, they've lost homes, jobs, they've lost normalcy in their life. What we do is we help the sick, the needy and the poor. Now, through the Victoria Foundation and the 40 philanthropists who are members of Victoria's Sovereign Order of the St. John of Jerusalem, Victoria Hospice will receive $250,000 over the next five years to help the street community. At end of life, their families are grieving, they are grieving, and somehow, you know, they, the, the workers can bring those, to, those individuals together. It's sacred work, uh, is part of my, the way I look at that. This funding supports weekly grief counseling at our place. And we try to create a very safe, non judgmental atmosphere that anyone is welcome. Anyone, including staff for the larger community, can come and be a part of this group. Because tragically, as this ever-expanding memorial wall shows, death is a never-ending part of life for this community. You know, they, they, they experience the same kind of grief and loss as the rest of us, just even more so, because it's, it's, it's uh, constant.